You would think that by now, actors and actresses would understand to just keep their mouth shut sometimes. You would think. You would think. Well, the actor Pablo Shriver, Shriver, I don't know how you say his name, uh, he who plays Master Chief on the Halo TV show has come out and basically attacked any fans of the Halo series uh, that are still left and basically said, if you don't agree with the helmet coming off, you don't like uh, like our show, says him. And, well, that's kind of, yeah. I mean, that's that's how people feel. They don't like the idea of Master Chief removing his helmet. Let's kind of get into this a little bit here. Now, this is from an interview that he had with IGN just not long ago, uh, just a few days ago. But if you're not a big Halo fan or someone who knows Halo very well. I'm huge into Halo. I love the Halo series. Have since it first came out back in 2001 on the original Xbox. Uh, it's the reason I got into Xbox gaming. That's why I bought the original Xbox, why I bought a 360 and so on and so forth. I read many of the books. I love the lore of Halo. One of the greatest aspects of Halo was the the main protagonist, Master Chief, also known as John 117. And he was a very mysterious character because in the games, you never saw his face. They never removed the helmet. And a big reason for that is because the developers wanted the, the person playing the game to actually feel like they were. They were Master Chief. And that made sense. I got that. Now, the first season of Halo came out, and he removed his helmet multiple times in that first season. And I have to say, I didn't hate the first season of Halo as much as everybody else did. Being as big of a fan of Halo as I am, I have to say, look, I understood because they told us months in advance that this was going to be different from the games. That it was a completely different timeline. It was a completely different thing. This was its own iteration of the story. So I went in there expecting a completely different story already. I, I understand the people who don't like it. I do understand it. I, I, I will say, however, I was a little disappointed that they constantly remove the helmet and constantly uh, showcase the face of Master Chief. I think it would have been okay to do... Take a look at what they did with the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian did it pretty well, and they handle it pretty well. They've shown his face a few times, but all of Season 3, we never saw the Mandalorian's face the entirety of Season 3. You can get through Season you can do a show without showing the face behind the mask. But let's kind of get into it here. Halo actor Pablo Schreiber has doubled down on his stance on Master Chief Helmet Off helmet on debate insisting it's impossible to like the show if you don't like the fact the super soldier takes his helmet off last week the halo tv show reignited the debate about the controversial decision for master chief to remove his helmet in the series xbox and paramount released a new trailer for the upcoming halo season 2 which continues the story of master chief's live action exploits following seasons one's mixed reception again season one wasn't terrible I get the complaints. There was a lot of interesting, a lot of fun aspects in Season 1. Would I have done it that way? Absolutely not. But there were some fun aspects in it. Um, the, the thing is, is I'm able to separate and understand and, and, and appreciate that, hey, they're at least doing this. I have the games and the books. That's that lore over there. This television show, hey... It's live action. I get to see Covenant on screen getting blasted away. That's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, it showed Pablo Schreiber's Master Chief in action with and without the helmet on. One action sequence in this trailer shows John 117 Master Chief fighting the Covenant without any armor at all, which is kind of confusing and worrisome uh, a bit. But again, this is different. Meanwhile, new posters of the show feature Master Chief without his helmet on, leading some fans to tweak the posters to put the helmet back on. Speaking to SFX Magazine via Games Radar, Schreiber pulled no punches in defending the decision to remove Master Chief's helmet for the show. He said people 
people don't feel the helmet was necessary to come off. They're at such an early concept of what the show could be, he said. In order to examine the discrepancy between these two versions of the character Chief and John 117, you can't tell that story without taking the helmet off. If you don't agree with the helmet coming off in the show, you don't like our show. So there's no point to discussing it. Yeah, I mean, that's the point. Yes, people don't like the show because of that. And there is a point to discuss that because it kind of does remove a fundamental aspect of the Master Chief that we've learned and have have come to appreciate with the character in the games, in the lore that was built for 20 years to this point. So yes, I understand the fans' displeasure and distaste with the idea of constantly removing his helmet and, and showcasing John's face. Uh, like I said, there is a way to do it. There is a way to have this show where you don't constantly take off his mask and his helmet. It's possible. We saw it with The Mandalorian. It's possible. Now, he's, now, he does appear to agree with the decision to remove the helmet. Of course he does. But there was a crazy sex scene in season one, which nobody liked. Even I thought it was ridiculous. You have a sex... Okay. That's where it kind of started to lose me a good bit. <laughs> I will admit. Uh, season one started to lose me a good bit there. Uh, but he was against that. And it's interesting to say that they got a new showrunner for season two and he thinks that this new showrunner is taking it in a different direction uh, he thinks it's more effective the way they deal with the show uh he says it's he, that he's a gifted writer he thinks the dialogue is better he thinks that overall season two is going to be better I, i'm still going to check it out like i said season one to me was it great no was it the halo i wanted no am i going to check it out sure i'll see i think if they don't stick the landing with season two if they don't start aligning it more with the lore and the halo that I've loved and grew up with for 20 years, I probably will step away at that point. Uh, but season one gave me enough that, like I said, there was enough in season one that was like, Hey, that's cool. That's interesting. Hey, I like that. That's cool. That's interesting. Ugh, the sex scene was a little much that, that, that shouldn't have been there. The helmet removing was annoying, but there was enough there. I think there was enough good to outweigh the bad in my opinion. Me, and again, maybe not for everybody. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. I, I think this is a, this is ridiculous. I think he needs to just shut his mouth, though. I think just let it go. I think he needs to, you know, not not call out the fans. Uh, because it, it's the fans that you have to get on board. You have to get them on board with this show. Specifically the Halo fans. The fans that grew up with the, the games for 20 years. The fans that are playing Halo Infinite right now. The fans who are experiencing Halo as a video game right now. You need to get those fans on board with this show. Or this show is not going to last. Which, maybe that's the point. Maybe he doesn't want the show to last. Maybe that is the point. Maybe he's in agreement that the show needs to die and they need to redo it. Who knows? Regardless, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit subscribe. With all that said, everybody, I'll catch you all later.